Aloha and welcome back everyone to another Space Weather Update. My name is Alexis, this is the Ascension Diaries, and we are going to be watching my consciousness as well as everyone else's in comparison to the space weather data that is publicly available for all of us. We are nearly into Aquarius season, we're very close. A lot of you have also heard about the Pluto shift from Capricorn into Aquarius energy. The sun is also conjuncting Pluto right now, which means they're together. We're going to look into that. So there's heavy Pluto energy. Pluto is transformative, very transformative. We're looking here on the screen at the Alaskan Northern Lights. They are still a little bit present on there. I hope at least these aren't the clouds, but it's dark here in my office. So we're dark up in Alaska right now. Many of you are doing more traveling here in 2024. Some of you, Alaska, some of you have been to Alaska in the last year, but I would say many more of you are going to be encouraged to go look at the Northern Lights. I was just watching Brother Bear here at the house, another wonderful film about the lore of the Northern Lights. If you haven't watched it yet, very child friendly, would highly recommend, I would say. Let's get more acquainted with the Northern Lights. Let's get more into the space weather data. So there's been a few filaments popping off the sun. Otherwise, things have been decently quiet. So we're just going to look at the solar footage while I verbally recount what I've seen since I've talked to you last. We're seeing some issues with Iran, but they also were launching things into space within the same day. So they were being shot at by Israel and then they were shooting things into space. Japan also landed a rover on the moon that didn't quite function properly. And there have been a few more issues with planes flying. So those of you who are wanting to take to the skies for your flights, all I ask is that you check in with your intuition first. If something in you is saying, this ain't it, it's gonna be worth a reschedule because you're probably right. And it goes with getting in your vehicles as well. With the solar cycle continuing, at least according to the very public and official faces of space disclosure and so on, that solar cycle 25 is going to peak potentially in the summer of 2025, even is what I've seen. So we've got some space here to wiggle around. I'm grateful though to see that the sun has cooled off since the beginning of January. It has taken a serious break. And I'm just going to show you the little bits that are starting to emerge, maybe stirring up a little bit of, you know, stuff for this weekend. But it has to do, I assume, also with Pluto's energy engaging with the sun and shifting around the electromagnetics for all of us in the solar system. The mood is shifting a little bit from cardinal to fixed energy. So we'll get into that in a second. So just with the moon right now it's currently in Taurus so as we're shifting into Aquarius season we're going from Taurus into Gemini moon or emotional energies so very grounded and very much also verbal about the needs being met and needing to be met and innovation to begin so a little bit demanding I would say the energy is gonna be this weekend but just follow through take care of yourself Take these moments of rest to really rejuvenate. Don't just save rejuvenating for when you're in pain. Do it when you're feeling good too. Therefore, you will likely be in pain less anyways. Good advice. It's preventative medicine here. So we see potentially also the filament that I'm going to show you footage of right over here. But just again, with the footage we're seeing, there was this little orb that kind of went up and popped north out of the sun, which I thought was interesting. We're going to look into that a little more. The, f the filaments have been popping off of this particular side. There goes the little orb, very cute, right before the 20th started. And there, there we have the filament pops, which you can't quite see yet. But we're going to show you here on my Twitter feed that information. There's some stuff on here I'm going to show you in a sec, but I'm going to squeeze past it to show you the filament that we just got about an hour ago. It looks like they're potentially falling. It came off of multiple spots at once. I got footage of that, so let's just blow this up so you can see the picture. Oh, she posted it as a GIF, so you can't make it any bigger. Okay, so the filament's going off 
the left and the front. So this one's earth facing more. So we kind of had an earth facing filament and one that's not as big of a deal. There's also some stuff going on on the northern end over here where that little cutesy ball came out uh, just a day ago. So let's look it into it a little deeper. These two filament areas, she's not even pointing at this one. Maybe that's just the other side of it. There it is, number three. So she's actually pointing out three filaments that kind of popped it pretty much very recently. That's why I'm doing this video. This is the sun being like, hey, I woke up, hello. I'm ready for a video. And it's like, look at me longer. I think I can't escape out of this window. <laughs> no, my computer is freezing maybe? Okay, well, let's let her take a break. Let's go to the consciousness dot and see how that's been going. Yesterday I logged in to see how this was going and I saw that I was in this particular moment right over here. So last night while we were winding down, things were feeling chill, we were in the blue zone. I was watching this very big cascade into a higher consciousness. And this actually happened twice yesterday. Was this interesting cascading into a higher consciousness or a more cohesive consciousness, I should say. I've been watching this very carefully, as you may be listening to how specific I'm getting. But it looks like we're going into one of those cascades right now. Looks like we had an attempt at one of those earlier today and it didn't quite get there. But that's okay, we're maybe gonna go and try this out again this lovely Saturday. We'll see, we'll check back as the show continues. I'm hoping my Twitter's gonna reload, so let's just circle to the greed fear index we're in a good green zone here so that's correlating maybe these guys are in cahoots they know about each other <laughs> their data is lining up pretty good let's look at the earthquake situation in the last 24 hours the intensity is really low but like i said we just saw those filaments come out I'm gonna go back and look at more picture the pictures of those as well but that'll probably increase earthquake activity in the next 24 hours. We're seeing way more activity here in Alaska, as well as, again, off of the coast of the Dominican. Let's reload. I don't know if you saw this, it is on my Twitter feed. If we can get that going, I'll come back to it. But I have seen data that the United States has actually expanded its territories, I would say, to underneath the water, most of it, off of the coast and the northern areas of Alaska and towards Russia. I assume it's because the ice is shifting, so there's more land potentially there, but there's also mention to areas that are still underwater off of this, off of the east and the west coasts of the United States, which is very interesting to me that that was just a thing that just kind of snuck in yesterday. I don't know if you heard about it, but definitely look into it, these areas. I think it's a little bit of a, a disclosure perhaps about what's really true about the maps and potentially maybe even the expanding or the shifting surface of the geography that we're dealing with country to country and that conversation will get to continue over the next 10-15 years because the land is going to show it show us the truth we just have to watch the truth will reveal itself. Okay, Oregon is getting a little bit of interesting earthquake activity that I wasn't noticing earlier, so I'm glad I double checked that. Oregon, <clears throat> Nevada, and California, but Oregon's like up here, so they're feeling it. They're feeling it still. All right, that's good to know. Now, with the electromagnetic spectrum around the Earth. There has been some bizarre behavior. This is bizarre, but not as bizarre as I've gotten to see it. There is also some bizarre little blips in the data that are abnormal. These are kind of new, I would say. These didn't happen very much even in the beginning of the research when they weren't cutting out the, the big blasts. They weren't blacking out that data. We didn't see a lot of these little nubbins. That's kind of what I want to call them. So. Not sure what that means. Maybe just little extra bits of plasma showing up in the atmosphere. Perhaps, I wish I knew more, but lightning is what we're watching to kind of track where this stuff is grounding in. Italy, it's not grounding in as hard. Let's look at the, yeah, there's no storming going on over by Italy. Russia, maybe a little bit going on. 
Australia looks like it's drawing in most of the lightning right now and whatever it is that's connecting these two spots in the ocean <laughs> looks like that's also maybe drawing in a little bit of power let's take a deeper look at this there's also been really bizarre behavior off of the west coast of the United States storm wise they're getting a lot more precipitation than usual Portland especially is getting a lot more snow and ice they're actually having a bit of a crisis apparently they are not they're not recovering well from their snowstorm snow and ice storm they don't have perhaps the the sand the oily sand and gravel that they just pour on all the streets every morning up in these areas and we're very uh, familiar with that technique of surviving in the icy cold we just melt it away <laughs> and keep driving for the most part we plow it away it's a regular thing but i think this snow is visiting areas that haven't really experienced snow to the levels that they're getting it this year i don't know if you remember me saying this a few months ago, weeks ago, even before the snowstorm came in, that I was getting tons of synchronicities, that snow was going to be a big theme for this winter time. And I believe it has been. I believe that has definitely shown up, especially in the United States. I know that Europe's getting extra water as well. You can see that there's a ton of precipitation over top of Northern Europe and so on into Russia. So let's look a little bit closer at the radar peer through the smoke and mirrors. South Korea is getting a lot of precipitation actually. I wasn't expecting that. See over here over by Portland and so on. These guys are still getting it. Northern, you know, yeah, now it's it's moved down a bit into California. There's a lot of old growth forest, a lot of forest in there. They're going to love all that precipitation. They've been needing it. They don't get a ton of it, I would assume. At least I've been watching last year. Hasn't I haven't noticed that. We've got a few of these tropical cyclones moving around in the ocean, potentially over these little islands again. So we're watching for islands that these cyclones hang out around. You know, people don't really need that much room, you guys. We don't really need that much space. And even people who much bigger than us would need even not that much space. The earth is pretty big. And those little tiny people, they, even, they need even less space. So I'm just thinking about these things out loud there's people who get to do podcasts like that and think these things out loud and they're all right so i'm gonna keep enjoying the conversation now before i try and get my twitter to work again we're gonna see this wave coming out again towards let's say saturn and neptune we're going out that way pluto and the sun Conjunction, this is what this means. See how they're in the same spot? Obviously, according to us, according to us, they're in the same area of the sky. So they're hanging out. See this little bridge? Pluto is crossing from Capricorn into Aquarius right now. It's happening. People are feeling it. Venus is doing a bit of a transition as well, but we haven't been talking about her. We'll get back to her. She's been super bright, though, in the sky. I've been really enjoying Venus in the sky these days. It's a good season for Venus here in Phoenix. Big fans. Okay, let's attempt this one more time. Ah, <laughs> she lives. Oh no. I uh, screwed it again. Okay, let's just go to, let's try this one more time. She got stuck. We really, really, really want to focus on those big filaments that came off today. So I'm not going to ignore that sign because that was very stubborn. Very stubborn indeed. Well, let's scroll down to that information. I just want to show more. Don't fight. We're not fighting each other. We're on the same page with this flare. So this big eruption. So this is Earth facing. If I understand correctly, this is more so towards Earth. So this is probably why the universe is like, hey, Let's look at this. Let's look at this longer. This show is dedicated to this particular image. Let's just call it right now. This is the image I feel like we're being guided to look at for the shift in frequency that's happening today. Could be why I have a little boost of energy. I just kind of bolted out of bed, was ready to do this. So that is very on par for me when it comes with the sun and my engagement with it. There's again, more of these filaments, just kind of an 
a reminder of how tall, how large these are. There's many, there are many planets tall and extending very far out into space and then letting go many planets tall worth of plasma and such towards our solar system. So many planets worth of this stuff potentially moving around constantly and we've been watching it more. I haven't noticed it as commonly back in the day as I'm noticing it right now at the peak peaking time of the solar cycle. Oh gosh, I hope I didn't get stuck here again. Filament, filament, so there's two here, potentially even three in this image. Very, very potent. Let's see if we can see that exact moment captured so we can specify. Okay, here's that moment. See in all the directions that it's moving. It's very cool, actually. This arm looks huge, just from the perspective of the camera. It's coming off forward almost this way, and then a bunch of matter this way. That's how I know I, it's more towards us, because it's kind of wrapping around the image there. <laughs> it's on its way, so that's why I'm excited. That's why things are happening. What happened last time? Well, this kind of happened last time, which is still... <laughs> Sorry. Iceland wanted a really awesome audio edit on that particular video. But look at all these guys sitting up on the mountainside, breathing in, breathing in those sweet, sweet fumes from the inner earth here. This magma, this new earth, this expansion that's potentially happening. Just a little one, but a little bit every day makes things shift. And the sun also, look at it, it's very similar to what the sun's doing. We're shifting, we're creating the new, the new land, the new stuff is present, the new matter. Think about this, just for the new year, you've been welcoming in more abundance. Here it is, it's pouring out of the earth, it's pouring out of the sun. And there might be more, it might continue, this might irritate the area, which is going to maybe make tourism keep spiking. So hey, maybe it's for the best, maybe... Iceland just really needs tourism and some of y'all really need to inhale some volcanic fumes to get through and all the power to you. Do what you got to do. We're a diverse crowd. All right, here we go. So here's some more of these images of these filaments that came off the sun. This is yesterday, not today. So like I said, every day there's some stuff coming off the sun. It's irritating our volcanoes and our earthquake our fissure lines and things are shifting a little bit and the aurora shows up like hey don't worry there's still solar wind don't forget about that it's still here so many many planets tall this particular expression this one over here on the right many of them dancing along the surface it's a beautiful time I'm not watching religiously anyone else doing these types of reports. So if you guys keep asking me, you're like, do you guys watch this person or that person? The answer is sometimes if it falls upon me to do so. Like, I'm not being prejudiced or anything. I'm just busy. I've got a house full of very busy beings. You know, it's, at, it's a funny barn over here. So <laughs> we do what we can. And I get the information I can, and I'm wondering if anyone else is talking about those filaments coming off more regularly, if they're noticing that, or if it's just me and I've just not been paying attention properly until recently. Whatever it is, that's what happens. We wake up a little more, we learn a little more, we keep going. Speaking of waking up, the nation of Japan is waking up to its potential for space travel. And they aren't the only ones. Like I said, Iran is also on that list in the last little bit. So despite what you're seeing on the surface, be sure what you're watching, everybody launching into space and how they're developing their space infrastructure. I don't know if you guys saw this, but there was a massive worship in Atlanta of Christians. I assume they would refer to themselves as Christians, but it was basically just people singing and having testimony, I assume, about their spiritual connection to Christ or Christ consciousness. But look at this huge thing. It's funny how... Idol worship is not encouraged, but these things, these things happen. These things happen, and everybody just kind of waves around. Very familiar. We humans are very funny. We and many cultures, but hey, I watched some of this, and some of it was very moving, as it always will. You know, 
we are the spirit, so something cool is going to happen when you all get in a good mood. <laughs> and I'm sure that's what's in this Florida Lee shaped book of Horus that I reposted as well, which I thought was awesome. So let's look at the extended lands around the United States. This is what I'm talking about. They're going deeper into the Arctic Circle here, which I assume means there's just more land available to be claimed. And what's this over here? Weird. Interesting. A little bit over there. A little bit up over here. An island? A little bit of more islands, you guys? Don't we love islands? Ooh, a little ooh, a little bit of island over here. Oh, it's it's the United States, you guys. So just keep an eye on that. Other countries are probably releasing similar maps today. I don't know, maybe. The United States likes to be pretty open about what they're up to. <laughs> In a way, probably to expose and expose what everyone else is up to. <laughs> so here's the one of those filaments from the 19th. So I believe, if I'm looking at this correctly, no, my apologies. Looks like this is from, this is actually old. So this is the December 24th filament from Christmas Eve yes last year this was our Christmas Eve birth that happened you guys remember this particular big loop that happened I remember this guy wow what an image like what a throwback look at this incredible what a capture what a moment truly I think this one might have to go on a shirt later on and go into the merch because wow this one's awesome this looks like oh it's just so cool and the eye of the needle fitting through the eye of the needle is something that i think about all the time is one of the biblical quotes that kind of ever stuck with me you know some of them stick and being able to fit through the eye of the needle basically so not having connection to the physical world or your material world so you can pass through even the tiniest of spaces with your your spirit your your lifeness I want to say and I never use that word so hopefully that was in the right context but we've got more of this yeah that little orb that comes out the top is I think the winner from the 19th I think that was the 19th there it is there it is there it is very nice very nice that was cool it reminds me of pluto all the pluto themed things so i've got a few cute things yeah the football player so here's a good one that everybody in the meteorology uh community was freaking out about yesterday of course i accidentally posted it and it's a gif so i can't make it bigger for y'all i'm learning though i'm learning but i'll get it Basically, we're seeing this helixical, I want to say, this helix, this croissant over here coming through. <laughs> These noodles, this noodle over here coming through and billowing across the lake. And I'm sure it has to do with geography as well, but hmm, it's a little bit of both. And I'm, let's be honest, I mean, Chicago is right here. So let's. Let's just be honest with each other here. But it's cool. I mean, it is pretty. It is pretty. And if it didn't hurt anybody, it's kind of neat. So let's hope that's the case. And just keep an eye out for these anomalies. There's another anomaly off the coast of Portland that I was talking about, I believe, is up here for me to show you. Here she is. Look at her go. So this was 10 hours ago. So this is kind of dissipated since we're filming this, but was witnessing some very bizarre activity this particular storm system uh over the newer <laughs> like let's look at this for a second let's just take a fun peek i don't want to poke too much because everybody gets in trouble when they start pointing out the obvious um but hey that storm seems like it's hovering right over whatever this <laughs> is and they just released this about the same day so yeah new territory is being appreciated so thank you thank you thank you and thank you and what else do i want to show you here is the cold whipping around the north pole kind of slamming into the west coast here we go and 
also the heat watch how the heat is shifting around we're watching this kind of rotating hot and cold triforce moving around the north pole here mm -hmm -hmm. we have a beautiful object that's going to be passing past earth basically ricocheting off of our electromagnetic field in 2029 called Apophis and it's going to nudge its way past Earth and the moon, send itself on a new trajectory. By 2029, we're probably going to be calling this an alien civilization that's coming by for its vacation. Who knows? So just keep an eye on this by 2029. So Apophis. I don't I have to look up Apophis. I'm sorry if that's an offensive, weird, culty name. Some of them are. I don't mean to do that. I am just catching up. <laughs> I'm trying to catch up, you guys. I can't keep up with hundreds of years of this stuff. It's it's tricky. The snow has been, I would say, impacting Oregon probably in the most new way, I would say. Oregon, would you say? I'm hearing Nashville's also having a struggle bus and they're they're doing their best they're they're staying home from school they're struggling to get out of their houses even for days because of the ice on their roads and so on and these trees are all getting weighed down by this this dense water this dense snow which i'm not familiar with eugene i didn't live over in oregon so i'm not sure what their norm is but it seems like things are a little different we're getting a little more snow than expected across the earth so we're gonna keep an eye on it we're gonna keep an eye on buffalo like i said i just went on my instagram and followed the main cities of the united states basically all the like capital cities on instagram to see their news to see their updates i might have to do the same on twitter but i like to keep my twitter more about geography and space heliophysics and such which helps my algorithm stay a little more focused so I can do these shows with you. But once in a while, we want to throw in stuff like how to massage out your lymphs and move those toxins out of your legs because this is where it all gathers up at the end of the day, as well as the top of your skull, your shoulders, the base of your skull, I should say, your shoulders in that area. So there's some techniques here on my page for such and massaging and moving that fluid around, clearing out the toxicity. Make sure you're getting on the rebounder if you don't have one yet, shaking all that stuff out. Here is Iran's launch. Be careful, this might be loud. I'm gonna expand it. <laughs> Y'all, I think it's funny that they just go to like 100% volume every time. So this is a concern, but obviously Every country is concerned about every other country launching stuff up in the air that could potentially rain down on them. So it's a conversation everybody's having about everybody. And that perspective, I hope, is clear to you as it is to me. <laughs> There's also many more sky anomalies showing up. See? Showing up for people across the United States especially. They've been desensitizing people to stuff in the sky. This may be sky di divers with stuff on their legs but who knows what it is but it's almost i get the sensation that they're just going to start flinging things in the sky that don't quite make any sense so we're just going to get bored and only people with the niche interest of looking up at the stuff in the sky are going to continue while everyone else carries on <laughs> while all the earth signs carry on and <laughs> bored and uh the progress towards world peace continues with moving people to the International Space Station and letting them hug humans that they, as they sit up there lonely. It's nice to get some fresh energy and some conversation in there, I bet. Fascinating situation and what space really is. So it's cool that, and also freaky, I would say. The conversation about what they're up to out there and what the conditions are really like. Brave people, they're really doing what I think they're doing. So, this solar wind speed is again at a 400. This is the average. This is where we want to see it. This is us thriving. This is our Earth thriving. Spaceweather.com is convinced we're going to have another quiet weekend. But I don't know. We just saw those filaments come off. So, quiet or not, we will be here for it all to enjoy it. Let's look at some more of the data. Let's look at the solar wind. 
moving around. Solar flares, KP index, everything looks calm. Thank you for subscribing to the channel. Let's check the magnetosphere really quick. Magnetosphere looks calm. Looks like we're checking out. Oh, spoke too soon. Oh, it's calming down. Okay, looks like we're in the progress of calming down. Let's let's hope. Let's hope. We'll see. Those filaments, we'll see what they do. I'm excited to see what's going to happen. Could be a lot. Could be nothing. But in the meantime, thank you for checking my link tree beneath this video. Getting all the resources of mine that I have gracefully set out for you. And feel free to book a session on my website, ascensiondiaries.com. We can do some coaching together, personal counseling, or I can send you an emailed response within the week of your scheduled time. Much love, everyone, and thank you again for another fabulous video. I will see you on the next one. Bye for now.